Hi there, welcome to High School Maths. Today we're going to be looking at composite or compound volumes. And all that means is you're looking at two or more shapes, three dimensional shapes, joined together and we want to find the volume of each one individually and then add them. Now, what we've got here and what we're going to focus on is just the most basic cube or cuboids and you'll develop that a little bit later on when you uh, come across more different shapes in three dimensional volumes. Let's have a look at what we've got here. If we look at the top, we've got a small cuboid and at the bottom we've got a larger cuboid. Now, they are both cuboids. What we've got to do is label them first. I'm going to call that one number one and that one number two. For cuboid one, we know the volume formula is just length times breadth times height. What we've got to do is pull out the key information from the diagram. Let's have a look at this one. The length is obviously four, that's from here, so four. The breadth would be two, and the height, well that's a bit trickier because it doesn't explicitly tell us that, but if we look at the whole shape, the whole shape is nine centimeters, and this bottom one is six centimeters. So the smaller cuboid on top must be three centimeters because six add three, gives us the 9 for the total height of the shape. So that's got to be 3 centimetres. From the 9, take away the 6. Once we've got our three dimensions, it's the simplest type it into the calculator to calculate answers. So 4 times 2 is 8, times 3 is 24 cubic centimetres. That's the small one completed. We're now looking at the larger cuboid. It's still a cuboid. The formula stays the same length times breadth times height. The only thing changing is our dimensions are bigger. If we look at this bigger cuboid, the length along the bottom here is 12 times the breadth, which is 5, times the height, which is 6. We then have all the dimensions were labelled there nice and clear. Type that into your calculator again and you should get 360 cubic centimetres. Now we're not quite finished there. We found the volume of each shape individually, but we're looking for the total volume here when we're dealing with composite or compound shapes. To find the total, in this case, what we're going to do is just add them together. So 24 add 360 to give us 384 cubic centimetres. So that's how you find the volume of composite shapes. If there was three shapes, you would find the volume of the three shapes, then add them together to find your total at the end, and it works the exact same way for any different shapes that you'll come across in the future. Hopefully you found that helpful. Uh, for any other videos and resources, please visit highschoolmass.co.uk. If you like the video, click the like button and subscribe. Please remember to share the video. Thanks for watching, and have a mathematical day.